Well, the monoclonal antibodies are a unique form of anti-infective therapy because they tend to target uh, specific factors, either molecules that are on the surface of the bacteria or so-called virulence factors. And that's certainly the truth of the monoclonal antibodies that are being developed against Pseudomonas. The hope is uh, that you know if we can develop these agents and can show that they are effective, that they'll really add to what we're already doing with antibiotics. Antibiotics, if you will, you can think of them as uh, a drug to which, you know, it's sort of a static relationship with the organism, uh, and the organism can develop resistance to those antibiotics. But with the monoclonal now, we have the capability of also attacking the virulence of the bug. And so it's almost like a two-pronged approach. And that's the hope. The hope is that by having monoclonals available, we'll be able to improve clinical outcomes, we'll be able to give those drugs very early, and we won't have to really worry about is it resistant or not because the monoclonal antibody will be attacking the organism independent of antibiotic resistance. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is probably the most common pathogen, uh, at least in the United States, that we focus combined treatments on. So this idea of combination antibiotic therapy uh, really sort of grew up with pseudomonas infection, primarily because it's such a difficult bug to treat, not just from an antibiotic perspective, but also from a virulence perspective. So the idea is that if we can give combinations of agents, we may have better outcomes. The simplest way to think of that is by having a combination of antibiotics available, we may be able to increase the likelihood that at least one of them will be active against the bug. The other possibility is that by using different combinations of antibiotics, if one acts on the cell wall, the other then penetrates and acts at the ribosomal level, we may have some synergistic effect from having those two drugs in place.